What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome to the Speaking English Podcast. My name is Sebastian. I'm the host. And this is episode 180. And we're going to talk about full, complete, all, whole. Um, and that's it. Entire. Michal from Poland wrote in for this subject about three years ago and uh, what he didn't know is that I was going to take a long break, something which I did, wouldn't didn't know. Okay, so um, full, complete, whole, all, entire. That's a very good question and I read up a little and the thesaurus says you can use them all in the same way. But I think in the general usage, um, there are two distinctions between the words. So whole and um, entire mean everything that belongs to something, but you cannot necessarily count it. You just know that it's the whole thing. For example, I can say I ate the whole cake. That means everything. All the pieces of that cake. The whole cake. Or I can say I painted the whole room. That means every wall of that room. I painted the whole. And you can also use entire for both um, examples. Okay, so I ate the entire cake, every piece of it, or I painted the entire room. Personally, I would use entire more as a um, emphasis. Okay, so, and maybe also more in terms of a question. Okay, like I ate the whole cake. I ate the entire cake. Like entire has a little more weight to it. And especially if you ask a question, you would use probably entire. You ate the entire cake. No piece left for me. So these, that's those two. And then you have full and complete. And I would say those refer to things that you know you can count. Okay? So you have maybe a full chess set okay it's 32 pieces that you need to play chess it's the full set it's complete it's complete when it has 32 pieces you could say I brought the whole chess set but um, you would use one of the other two words to indicate that there's a finite number that you know or I put a full set of strings on my new guitar. I know, I know, 25 years and I still suck at drawing guitar. Um, but it's a full set. It's full because you know it's six strings on this particular guitar. Okay. And then there's all. All means everything, but not in a sense of completeness or uh, wholeness. And what I mean by that is I ate all the cake. I ate the whole cake, which is the cake was complete. But this is I ate all the cake. And I can mean by that it like it's all the cake that was left. Okay? So one piece was already missing, but I still ate all the cake. I blew out all the candles. It's it's not specified, okay? It's, it's everything, but it's not specified. I blew out all the candles because you don't know how many candles there were. When you know it's the, 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 the whole cake, you know that the cake was in some form complete. It, it was one piece. But if you just say, if you use all, then... Um, the, the number or the amount 
is is not really defined. We know you did you ate it all, but could could be you know all the, all the cake could just mean you know it could mean you ate two cakes, like two whole cakes. You ate all the cakes that was in the kitchen. It's a tricky subject, uh, I admit, and I, I read up a little, and um, maybe Grandma Girl uh, or somebody else can um, point me to different sources or add some words here or there. But um, I think, in general, I would say whole and entire is one unit, but it's unspecified how how big that unit is sort of and I would use full and complete to um, indicate that I know um, how much it like there's the full set of China okay and you know that there's six cups six sauces and saucers and six plates that's the full set right okay so thanks you everybody for watching uh, as always, leave your comments um, either on Facebook or on YouTube. You can send me emails at speakingenglishpodcast at gmail.com. And we'll keep this, keep this up. There will be more. There will be more. Please spread it around. And we will be back on, on the iTunes. I have to figure out some technical difficulties. It has been a while. And we'll also bring back the... Uh, the fan section somehow. Um, in the meantime, please, if you see this, show it to your friends, share it on Facebook, uh, tweet about it, I don't know, Snapchat about it, whatever you want. Send me an email, and no, I'm not going to take off that hat. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.